All right, so I want to go through some examples of um, these types of solutions you can have. So like given a system of linear relations, what type of solution do you have without actually having to solve for it? Just what type of solutions? Like we had talked about, there's three types of solutions. You can either be left with infinite solution for linear equations. You can be left with no solution for linear equations. And lastly, you can be left with a unique solution or a in other words, exactly one solution. So if you recall, infinite solution happened when the equations were exactly the same. No solution happened when the equations were parallel, uh, but had different y-intercepts, so they never cross. And lastly, unique solution happens as soon as the slopes are different. As soon as the slopes are different, the lines have to cross. So let's take a look at our example here. I want to discover, okay, what type of solution do we have here? Um, a quick check on this, if you take a look here, if I go to equation one, if you want to go to the, the um, slope argument, uh, you know that I can go ahead and put this in y equals mx plus b form, my slope intercept form. And if, with, if you put this in slope intercept form here, you discover that the slope of this line is minus a half. Okay. Likewise, if I go to equation here and I were to put this in slope intercept form I would find out here that the slope of this equation is also minus a half so now we're in a situation where I have two linear equations both the slopes are the same so these lines are parallel but as you can see here they're parallel and distinct and by that I mean they have different um, they have different y-intercepts. One has a y-intercept of 3, the other has a y-intercept of 1. So if I go to graph this thing, just if, I, if I were to do a quick little sketch of this, they're both decreasing, they have negative slopes, but you know one might look something like this, and the other might look something like this. All right. So again, this was overkill. We probably saw it a lot sooner, but this idea here is there's no solution for this. And the reason for that is uh, the slopes, the lines are parallel, but they have different y-intercepts. They're not the same equation. Right, uh, equation two here. Again, whenever you're given a system of linear relations, you want to see whether you can reduce it first. Because if you put things in lowest terms, you can compare the two equations. Well, quickly for equation two, I can see I can divide across by um, two here. And if I divide across by two, my equation becomes 3x plus 5y is 9. And we can quickly see here that both of these equations are the same. And because both these equations are the same, this would be infinite solution. All right. And example three here. Same deal. I don't see any way to reduce this, right? I can't divide across by something. So the easiest way is to put is to do a slope argument. So one way you can do it is put this in the form y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to try to isolate for y. Divide across by negative 2. And I've got my one equation. Likewise here, I'm going to try to isolate for y. And we are in slope-intercept form. So right away, as soon as I see this, um, with this equation here, one slope is 7 halves, the other slope is negative 5. As soon as you, you have that, you can say uh, different slopes and therefore unique solution or exactly one solution, okay? Uh, just as a tip here, if you're trying to find the slope of a linear equation, you don't always have to put it in the form y equals mx plus b. So like, let's say in general, you have a general linear equation in standard form. If I went to solve for this for a generalized equation, you'd have by equals negative ax minus c y equals negative a over b x minus c over b. So because of that, your slope here is always going to be, therefore the slope of this line is negative a over b. So that means if you have an equation in standard form, let's say you have the equation 2x minus 3y plus 5 is 0. If I want the slope, I don't have to do like I had done above and put it in y equals mx plus b. You can just... Um, 
do negative a, so negative 2, over negative 3, and the slope is 2 thirds. Right? So keep that in mind. You just have to be careful with the signs. You don't make a sign mistake. But again, if you want a quicker way, if your um, motivation is just to find the slope, um, sometimes it's quicker to actually use the negative a over b uh, formula for a linear equation. But you have to be in standard form, and you've got to watch your minus signs. So if I do negative a over b, I have to realize a is 2, and b is actually negative 3, giving you your 2 thirds. All right, uh, so that concludes taking a look at types of solutions um, without having to actually do the solving. All right, thank you.